I hear little guys. I don't like that. Where are they? Whoa! What the hell is going on here? Oh, we're in a vacuum now. Nice. Entering vacuum. Cool. I guess the ship kind of just busted open for a second there. Anyway, we hop in here, and then once the, once the door closes behind us, this room will pressurize. We can go right back to not vacuum. All right, how many power nodes have we got with us right now? We're gonna need one power node, I think, where we're headed. So I could I could spend one on the plasma color, but I don't think I'd be able to actually buy anything very useful right now. So I'm just gonna wait. We don't have any. I don't have enough to actually make a good purchase yet. And we are holding on to the level three suit, suit schematic right now. So. As soon as we've got enough money to buy that, we want to go ahead and pick up that first before we start splurging on power nodes. Although splurging isn't really the best word because power nodes are useful items. They just tend to be expensive to buy and you want to tend to wait until we can just pick them up instead of buying them. Dang it, are you serious dude? I, mean, I don't even know what, whether to go for his arms or his legs, but I can't. Buddy is coming right at us here. See, sometimes it just takes a good number of hits to kill those guys, because they get into this weird little animation where when you shoot them, they just kind of like lunge their head back. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage to them, and it doesn't really cut off any arms. What the hell was that? Whatever, I'm getting in here. Anything going on in here? Meh, maybe. Got a thing in the wall with some ammo that I can't even carry. Didn't realize my inventory was so full. Now on the way back, we're going to want to make sure that none of these corpses have limbs, because I really don't feel like having to deal with, uh... Whoa. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty effective way of getting rid of limbs on corpses, huh? Let's just toss all the corpses into the gravity things. And, oh god, are you serious? That was hilarious, dude. Get over here, you. You there, get down. Actually, I'm not sure if we can get him down or not. He's pretty well hooked up there. Same for his buddy. I think maybe you can shoot him down. I don't know. I don't feel like wasting a bunch of ammo on those guys, so... So let's proceed forward. We're almost to the next switch. It's just further on in this room, but I think I'm skipping something. Yeah, here we go. Power node lock! Now, this one, inside here, we're going to find two ammo packs, two medium health packs, one large health pack, 7,400 credits, and a gold semiconductor. So... That cash value of those items alone makes it worth opening this door. Once you come in here, you find all kinds of cool stuff. Which, uh, of course, I can't carry some of it right now, so I might have to drop a couple things of less of it, lesser value. Or use, maybe. Use a med pack or two. See, line rack ammo. Oh, uh, that, that's, the, that's the gun selection thing. That's what your D-pad does. Since we're only using one gun, we're not going to ever have to use that. I'm just going to go ahead and drop the line racks. I'm going to drop these drop those, just because carrying ammo for a gun we can use has more value than carrying ammo for a gun that we don't have, so. So, trying to carry around a bunch of ammo for the line racks and other stuff like that is worthless when we could have ammo for the plasma cutter. And I'm still not, I don't have enough room to carry all that plasma ammo, so I think I'm going to use one of these medium health packs here just so I can carry some more ammo. It seems like a good decision to me. It's because my health was pretty full and I've got a good number of health packs left, so we can't carry any of this junk now, so we'll leave it. We'll go on without it. Anyway, you want to just kind of hop over here. I don't think there's anything up here for us to look at. Once we get over here, we got a couple, we got a couple babies that are going to pop out at us, I think. So I kind of want to pay attention to where they are. Where are you at? They're going to try to get really close to you and eat you. You don't want to let them get close. He's running right up to me. Two, three. There's one time for one. Show me again. Two. Awesome. I must have clipped both of those at once one time. That last tentacle went down pretty easily. Alright, throw the switch. Power Boom. Reloading power. Control it's a medium pack, isn't it? It's a small one, we don't even need it. I'm getting a reading. Zip back Almost here. There. We gotta find that area where these guys... Where the corpses are laying around. There's gonna be some bats back here. There should be, at least. Where are they? Come on, I know they're around here. There they are. Die. These guys just have a lot of health behind them, I guess. Might be just be that one. I thought there were two here for some reason. But you see, the fact that there were no corpses around meant that he was wandering about looking for us. 
Whereas if the corpses had still had limbs on them, he wouldn't have bothered going for us. He would have went straight for those corpses and would have uh, had two or three of those black guys waiting for us. So definitely want to get rid of those corpses early, early on. You don't want to have to worry about that when you're on your way back. Because those guys, you fight against, if you get stuck against two or three of those guys at this point in the game, they could easily take you out. Because you don't have enough uh, health or... Uh, well, the health is decent. But you don't have enough firepower on your gun in order to fight those guys effectively. Later on, once we've got our gun fully upgraded, we'll be able to make a little bit more of a dent in their uh, health. But right now, we're pretty well a noob as far as our plasma cutter is concerned. And that's only because I've been, I've been investing in health. As, as you can see, uh, as you might have see noticed it early in the game, it, when I had like two and a half health blocks left, that was still low enough that uh, like basic enemies could one-hit KO me. And so I need to keep my ammo, my health above like four blocks at all times. And the only way to do that is to have more than four blocks of health. So carrying around about seven, I think I might, I might stay at seven for a while. I just start saving up for the gun. What? Get out of here, dude. Whatever. Audio log. This is Temple. The bridge is fucked. I don't know what went on in there, but I'm not sticking around in case whatever did it comes back. I'm heading for hydroponics to find Elizabeth. Hey man, that's Jacob again. We gotta turn it into a regular good old boy. Alright, what we got around this corner here? Got a fatty? Yep, and a black guy. I hate the black ones, man. They're so annoying, they're so powerful, and so fast. Even when they're crawling, they move towards you pretty quickly. Look at those limbs. Dude, I cut off one of your limbs. You're dead. Get out of here. Alright, now this guy gonna line up on an arm. Don't you be dare don't you dare be giving birth on me, dude. Not a stasis, I can't do anything against this. Except back up. See he just he just popped out a bunch of little babies now and he's not even dead yet. He's still crawling towards us. Get away from me. You see all these guys do is make you waste ammo. They don't ever drop any ammo. Got most of them at least. Alright, I think I might have got them all. Should be okay. And here's the rerouting uh, switch. Go ahead and throw it. Asteroid defense system now online. Alright, we've got enough power. But the ADS cannon's auto targeting is down. I think it's a faulty data cable. I need you to aim the cannon manually until I can replace it. Take the elevator to the top of the ship and head for the cannon pit. Seriously? We're already on the third floor. Where are we supposed to go here? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? What was that? Can I carry that now? Do I have room for that? Yes, I do. Alright, up to the top of the ship, you say? Oh, there's some more stuff to pick up here. Let's not miss this. Got some credits there, at the very least. Yeah, here's the elevator. Ship exterior. Whoa, what the hell was that? Something just moved in here. Alright, well. Oh, what is this? Storage room. Heck yes. What we got in here? We got some more ammo, which I can't carry. More ammo I can't carry. And credits. Nice. I can't carry the ammo, I mean, uh, not a whole lot I can do. What am I carrying here that I don't need? Yeah, see, force gun and contact beam? I'm not gonna be using either of those guns, but... I'd like to have the schem I'd like to have those, you know, to like... In case I just want to show you guys them. Or if I want to buy them for some reason, but... I mean, you know, I... Uh, you know. I'm never actually gonna use the darn things, like, legitimately. So, we'll see. All right, now we're gonna head up to this elevator here, and yeah, this is the uh, final segment. You'll notice that each chapter kind of has like a final like bit associated with it. Not maybe not a boss, but at the very least, some sort of interesting like development in the plot, or a cutscene, or like a, a room that has a lot of enemies. You're going to have to cross the ship exterior to reach the ADS cannon. Problem is, we're still getting bombarded by asteroids. Look for cover, or you'll get torn to pieces. Yep. This is basically going to basically be like red light, green light. Except if you move during a red light, you get killed. Basically, we want to hop out here and just zip behind this door over here and just wait for the first uh, wave of madness to come flying past us. And you can see like the sparks in the air and the lines and everything indicates that there's shit flying by us. Go ahead and use an oxygen recharge. And we can get the hell out of here. You can actually fly to behind the next cover. If you jump soon enough, I may have been a little bit too late, I might die here. Hope not. But you get behind the next line of cover, you should be okay. And yeah, there we go. We're we're doing, we did fine. We got there with plenty of time. Where do I want to go now? 
down here to this cover. Come on, I know I can make it to that. I know I can make it to that. Dude, are you serious? Alright, whatever. I'm just going to run up behind this next one. It's got an oxygen recharge on it, see? Can y'all read that at all? I know it's shaking. But yeah, you can just use that and it'll refill your air tanks all the way. So we'll use that before we head out to the next one here. Over to this side. Just kind of use the diagonal to your advantage. It's kind of hard to jump to a surface that's way in front of you if you're already on the same plane as it. And it's easier to get to a surface that's farther away on a, like an angle or something. And so you might, you might want to just jump from one angled surface to the next. See, now I'm going to head up to this wall, and my next jump will be down to the ground near the door. See? But I think I might just go ahead and wait here for the next little wave to go by. 